to keep that price from dropping. They have cut production, not helping. It, it seems to be either concerns about worldwide growth that are stunting the growth in the price of oil, uh, or perhaps it's the U.S. production of oil and, and gas that is causing oil prices to come down. But today's no exception, down over 2%. The national average, by the way, for regular gasoline at the pump, it is now 2 32. This is the average. This is not the lowest. This is the average. 232 a gallon. Joining us now is Doug McTeague with Gas Buddy. Doug, 75 days straight of lower or stagnant gas prices. How much lower can it go? Well, it can go a lot lower than this, of course, David, because we're looking at uh, prices that uh, still reflect. Uh, oil prices uh, of a week or two ago. It takes a bit of time for oil prices to eventually impact uh, pumps. But the reality is that for all of us here, the past 75 days, we're saving $226 million a day uh, just in these savings. If you go back 75 days ago, average prices here across the country, 280 plus a gallon, now down testing below or at 232 a gallon, likely to drop another five or six, maybe even seven cents a wow. gallon between now and the end of the year. So there's more good news. Uh, I know it's all bad news on the market front, but for consumers, uh, the boon is certainly there. Yeah, by the way, the market is now down about 374 points as we speak. So there are bad news, but very good news on retail sector. Uh, apparently, it's a good Christmas. People are going out shopping, and I'm sure that gas prices have a lot to do with that, right? Well, David, more money in your jeans means you have uh, opportunities to do what you couldn't do, say, six months ago or even three months ago. I, you know, I, last time we, uh, we had the major discussion on this around Memorial Day, average prices uh, across the country were almost $3 a gallon. We're down substantially since then. And it has an impact really right across the, uh, the economic spectrum. The consumers are certainly a little bit better off than they were just uh, you know, a few months back. And I think that's very optimistic news, uh, certainly from a consumer point of view. But if you look at uh, gas prices across the country, we now have well over a quarter of the states under $2 a gallon. We have uh, you know, a situation where over 60% of us are looking at uh, gas prices that yeah. are under 225 a gallon. I think that's where we're heading. Hey, it's Doug, an early Christmas gift. Very quickly, we only have about 15 seconds, but is is oil down significantly because of oversupply or is it because of worldwide demand dropping? Well, I think it's perception of both. Demand dropping, of course, supply. Everyone knows how to do it. We've got the shock of Russia. You, here in the United States and, of course, Saudi Arabia overproducing in November. I think things will start to straighten out, but not until the second quarter of 20, uh, 2019. And, and it's not